Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're gonna to be checking out and showing you how to install the Dexter Lever Lock Trailer Coupler. When it comes to trailer couplers, I almost feel like they're a maintenance item. It just seems like after years of use and they sit outside and everything, uh, they just tend to get wore out and it kind of, you know, becomes difficult to actually get this to engage on your, on your ball uh, to be able to hook up. And so with this one, I kind of freshen everything up uh, it's going to make a great direct replacement in most cases and it'll get you going again. This particular coupler is going to work uh, or is designed to work with two inch balls and it's going to work with trailer tongues that are three inches wide. So that's a super common size. This will work with a lot of different uh, applications. It's going to have a 5,000 pound uh, maximum weight rating. And first impressions of this, uh, it feels like it's well built. Everything's super solid. Um, the latch mechanism feels pretty good. So these are a little bit different. The way they work, you'll have this pin here. When you pull that out, all right, and that's tethered to this. The way you would open this is this lever here. And so now you would, you know, back your truck up, drop your trailer down, and that's how it's gonna lock in. And then you'd wanna take your pin and put that back through. Some people like that style. Personally, I'm not too crazy about it. Um, not even really for a particular reason per se. It's just kinda, especially if it's cold or you got big gloves or something on, sometimes that can be kinda hard to operate. And I kinda just grew up using the, the classic ones like this, uh, which kinda brings me to my next point to compare this to some of the other ones. So something like this, uh, you know, like I said, it's kind of a classic setup. This is a great option as well. Uh, this is a, a very similar in terms of ratings and everything else. Personally, again, this is kind of the, the one I prefer. Uh, a little bit easier to open, at least in my opinion. Um, so that's an option. And then you have some that are kind of in between. So like this Demco one, these are actually pretty cool. It's an easy latch. And with these, you don't have to mess with the latch mechanism or, at all when you go to hook up. So it could be in this position, you drop your trailer on it and it kind of automatically latches itself into place. So, um, you know, a little bit different there. Again, though, personally, I kind of like this one because it makes you lock it down and kind of gives me a little bit more assurance knowing that I'm, I'm hooked up real good. So, um, you know, a lot of different options out there and uh, you know, whatever style of mechanism you prefer, uh, there should be one uh, that you can find. Something that uh, I do like about this one though, is I like how the side of the coupler actually kind of covers up the whole side of the trailer tongue. Um, you know, I think it looks good. And this is gonna be zinc coated, so it should hold up to corrosion and, and rust a little bit better than ones that are just painted or powder coated, um, you know, with, with this coating on, on this one here. And, to help you figure out if this is going to work with your with your application, um, the mounting holes center to center are going to be three inches. And if you go from the top surface of this down to that mounting hole, the center of it, it's going to be about an inch. Um, that's really common. A lot of trailers will use that type of bolt pattern. And so in most cases, if your coupler's bolted on already, it'll probably share that pattern. Or, uh, you know, if not, if if you had a welded one on or something, you could always just use that and, and drill the holes out. So uh, not, too, uh, not too much there as far as that goes. This is a, a bolt-on design. I do want to mention though, it's not going to come with the hardware. You will have to grab it separately. The hardware that we used is half inch bolts um, and these are three and three quarters of an inch long. Definitely recommend nylon lock nuts on them like we have and you want them to be rated properly as well. So generally speaking, a grade five or a grade eight is a, a pretty safe bet when you go to bolt this up. At the end of the day, you know, not really a whole lot to it. Feels like it's well built and it'll uh, work in a lot of situations. So if you like this style of mechanism uh, or want to try something new, uh, definitely want to consider. In terms of installation, most cases it's not going to be very bad, right? Uh, being for the most part a direct replacement. We'll go ahead and, and set this one up on this trailer and hopefully it'll get you going in the right direction. So you begin your installation. 
Uh, you first need to remove the old coupler and everyone's setup is gonna be a little bit different. Um, but for the most part, all this information will hold true uh, to get you going. So I removed ours since this is a direct replacement. I just had to pull out two bolts, get that old coupler off and out of the way. And that was it. Some couplers will be welded on. Uh, and if that's your case, you'll have to carefully kind of cut uh, that weld off. You can use a Dremel tool, cut off wheel. And what I found in the past, you kind of get it going and then you can come in with a pry bar or chisel, especially if you have an air chisel um, and work that off and pry that off there. But be careful not to damage the actual tongue of the trailer. So once that's out of the way, uh, inspect it. You know, ours is in really good shape, but you can always sand it down, get a fresh coat of paint on there uh, and, and start with the fresh base there. So, uh, but that all done, we can get ready to get our coupler on. With all that done though, we can take our coupler and slide it into position, get those holes lined on up. We'll take our bolts. Pass those through, get the nut started on each one. And whenever you go to uh, secure this down, you know, make sure that this is sitting flat or flush on the tongue of your trailer. Uh, be ideal. And then I'm gonna come back with a socket and a wrench and tighten the hardware down to the manufacturer's specifications. And that'll finish up our look at of the Dexter Lever Lock Trailer Coupler.